All right, guys, welcome back to another episode of Disney Diamond Painting with Marcy. Should I say Marcy Mouse? Tonight I'm starting the Ariel Day of the Dead, and I am absolutely thrilled at how pretty her face is. Um, I think these are absolutely gorgeous. They come in all the different princesses. I decided to do a six inch by six inch square painting so that you guys will be able to see the, I don't wanna say lack of detail, but you'll be able to see the difference between doing a small one and a big one and how much better and more detailed the big ones look. They don't look as pixelated. So I'm doing this one as an example. The first thing that I always suggest doing is checking off all of the baggies that you should have. As you can see, I've checked all of these off. The red number tells you how many packs you should receive of every given number. So 3845 has one, two, three, four, five, six. There's one more, seven up at the top. And 3845 is right here. I have seven bags. So it's always good to make sure you have all of your diamonds in your kits. Here are all of my little beauties. And the next thing I do is I get them ready and I put them in my small containers. I've seen a lot of people do vitamin pill boxes. I've seen people use the Tic Tac boxes. You can order a set on Amazon of the Tic Tac or I got this set of 90 for $17 on Amazon. It holds 90 different colors total between the three cases. 30 in each case. So I'm going to start getting these all numbered and then I'm going to start my painting. All right so I got all of my gems individually numbered on my small containers. They are all in here ready to go. I have them numerically um, in numerical order that way it's easy to find the number that I'm looking for I keep them in the tray so that keeps them all in order when I do pull one to work out let's so I'm gonna do 310 I will keep it out I will dump it into my tray and I will save it on the side until I'm done because whenever I'm done with that color the tray has a little pour spout so I can pour back into this container before I put it back into the tray of colors. That way I keep myself organized. It makes for a faster, um, it, it just makes everything a lot faster. Every diamond kit that I send out comes with a tool set, which means you will get your drill you will get a tray that has ridges in it to help you get the diamonds all face up. You will get a square or rectangle of tack. And most of them I try to include tweezers even though I almost never use them. I rarely use them just in case I drop a jewel onto the, the sticky mat and I have to pull it off. That's really the only time I use the tweezers. I have seen other people use tweezers instead of the drill and they seem to love it. I'm not a fan of it because of my tremors as most of you know. So the drill it is for me and I'm always happy. Then I use an A4 light pad. It's a USB light pad. By turning it on, let me see if I can it'll light up everything and when I peel this back I'll be able to see much better than without a light and if I were you I would also invest in a pair of Dollar Tree reading glasses just get a 1.0 or a 1.25 even if you have excellent vision they really do magnify and help you see everything that much better so here I go start, we'll see you in an hour. Okay, so I figured I would just give you a few little tidbits. I forgot that I do use my tweezers to clean out the drill head. Um, the tack sometimes gets worn out and so I will tweeze out the old tack before I put in new tack. The tack 
has a plastic sheet cover that lifts up like this and then you simply push your drill into it and it will take a hole out of your tack and leave it in the drill as you can see this tack use it like it goes forever I have used just this much to complete a 6 by 18 Nightmare Before Christmas as well as a 7 by 7 Iron Man and that's all the tack that I used for both of them so it's going to last a long time never worry that you're not gonna have enough and you just pour your gems into a tray, shake it out a bit so that you can see they will go flat side down and the raised side up. And you will simply grab a gem like this. It tacks to the gem, just enough to grab it. And then you bring it over to your painting and you drop it on the square with the corresponding letter. So I'm doing 3845, which is all of my eyes. I'm gonna do quite a bit of that before I start getting into the colors. So as you can see, I'm just doing a small bit at a time. Let me turn off the light so you can get a better view of it. I did all of one color on just a portion. Usually I do about two inches worth at a time because that's my um, given time frame for finishing a certain area. Well, I totally got ahead of myself and forgot to keep taking video segments because it was just going so fast and she's so pretty and cute. So this is the aerial that I'm still working on. I. I had every intention of taking a video once every hour and of course when you're diamond painting time gets the best of you. Um, I would give you another hint to set an alarm, <laughs> set a timer so that you stop at a specific time or the next thing you know it's going to be 2 o'clock in the morning and you're just saying one more color. Here's, we, here's where we are right now. I've got quite a bit of her done. Again, this is just a little six by six. We'll see you in another hour or so. All right, so I'm another hour and a half in. Still, I forgot to set my timer on the hour just to see how far I could get in one hour. Um, but I'm super addicted. I think we all are. She's turning out really pretty, finally coming to see what she looks like. I'm gonna turn the light off. So, oh yeah, now you can really see. So much better. Alrighty, so here's my update, and by the next time I see you, hopefully I'll have all of her completed, and then I'll just have the blue background. Okay, so I finished Ariel, but as you can see, I haven't done the backdrop yet. Um, I still have half of the blue at the top to complete it. I think she's absolutely gorgeous. I will show you, this is just a small six by six, and if you were to go larger, the detail is so much better because it's not as pixelated. This is what she should look like, and this is what she does look like. So as you can see, there are differences when it's a smaller canvas. You may consider starting off with a small one or for gifts, they make great gifts. Um, but if you have the time and energy, it's always worth it to go bigger so that you can get better quality on the visual. Um, how you see it. It won't appear so pixelated. So I'll finish the background blue and then I'll let you see what she looks like. Okay, so I'm working on this big background and as you can see it's a lot of the same numbers over and over and over and over again. They do have an option on some of the tools in some of the kits that have like 
a lot of the same. The tool, which is your drill, has a multi, um, multi drill end, like tip at the other end of your drill. So I have upgraded mine and I put a little pencil squishy so it makes it easier to squeeze. And then on this back end, I just have the small one. It does three diamonds at a time. So for me, because of my shakes, it's a little difficult to line three of these up in the tray and get them perfect. But once you do, then you can just set down your three and usually they just stick. There it is. There's also an option you can upgrade even more, change your game even more, and do a whole row. I think this one holds eight or 10 jewels at a time. So these are options. I also, um, I personally love this pen. Um, it's one from my manufacturer. It's really heavy, weighted down. So it feels like you're holding like a really nice ballpoint pen, heavy um, business pen but it has a retractable tip um, which twists in, see, it disappears, and then it comes out as well. Um, right now, this is because it's a ballpoint, I want the squishy um, pencil cover, so I have to get one that fits this specific size of a pen. Um, so that's why I'm using the little plastic one right now with a squishy here. These are different ways that you can up your game. I hope you enjoyed learning that little trick. Okay, here she is. This is the Ariel Day of the Dead with her painted face and beautiful flowers. It is a 15 by 15 centimeter. It comes out to around six inches squared. And I'm gonna turn the light off so you can really get an idea of what she looks like. So as you can see, the bigger the picture, the less pixelated it will show. So I think this would be phenomenal twice its size, maybe a 12 by 12. But now you can see all of the sparkle and shine. And I tell you what, using the three prong or the three gem end was a game changer on the background. So definitely check that out and try it out. It was amazing. We'll see you guys on the next round.